All right, I was tired of getting basically no radio reception on my truck. So I got to looking at the antenna assembly here. Of course it goes down to this wire here, which is the junction that leads all the way into the radio behind the firewall there. So I took this apart. It's basically a junction you know, with a male and a female plug. And it was in pretty ratty shape. So I re-stripped it. You know, just cleaned it up. It looks more like a coax kind of cable. I didn't do video of it at the time because I really wasn't sure if this was going to make any difference. But it looks like coax cable, you know, for your cable TV or whatever. So you just restrip it and create a new connection. Then plug it back in and crimp it because it's got a little metal sleeve down in there. Crimp it on nicely. I even put a hose clamp on it just to hold it tight. <clears throat> hold this nice and tight in here. And also, uh, to remove, I was going to consider getting a new antenna. And you have to have a funky little tool. This little guy right here you have to have, because once you uh, take the antenna off, if it'll focus, this guy here you have to have a special tool to remove, which happens to be one of these goes on there use your uh, basic wrench you know to loosen this nut off right here then it's got two screws behind here those two screws right there have to be removed and then you can feed the uh, you know the base of the antenna right through here and it comes out through this big hole here if you can see that at all it comes out through that big hole so if you did want to replace it you could rather easily you know, as long as you have one of these funky little tools. Anyway, all I did though was restrip the uh, the coax style wire coming from the base, cleaned it up, you know, with some emery cloth or whatever, you know, or just or some um, steel wool or something, you know, just to get the corrosion off of the uh, connections down there. And I had the radio on while it was. While I was doing this to see if I could tell any difference in reception because you know there was stations that used to be able to pick up easily where I am and I could not pick them up worth a flip so I just left the radio on and once I plugged this back in immediately the station came on so that tells me it was just the radio antenna is he gonna be able to put another guy in the box to stop the run because because if he to that's the station I could not pick up So there you have it. Chevy K1500 pick em up truck had horrible radio reception. And a lot of people said they thought the, you know, it was the radio itself. Some people are saying that the Pioneer, Pioneer aftermarket radios get crappy reception, which is obviously not the case because I did not touch the, uh, the antenna going into the back of the radio. I did not touch that connection whatsoever. I started from out here and I've seen you know if you do want to replace this here or replace the mast you can get all that on eBay and whatnot I just wanted to see if there was anything obvious that I could repair myself and lo and behold I did so yeah we got radio again on our truck and I'm very pleased because I can only pick up like one station in Atlanta where you've got you know zillions of radio stations I can only pick up two of them scan goes right to it now there you go hit search goes right to it problem solved all right like subscribe follow share blah 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 Always fixing stuff on these trucks, cars, motorcycles, and whatnot. See y'all later.